Welcome to Automation Training Up. In this video, we are going to learn how to download and upload the logic card to PLC as well as from PLC. So first, uh, right now we have created a uh, new project. So the project name I given as uh, test underscore 1705. So first uh, I'll go to Sematic 300 station. You can able to see hardware. So right now I'm not going to do a new hardware setting. Instead of doing hardware setting, I need to know in your controller what logic is present as well as uh, what uh, what are the hardware configuration has been done because sometimes uh, we don't know what are the modules we have connected or the exact order number you don't know so what you can do better we can uh, do is uh, we can upload the logic if it is a new controller now we have definitely we have to do the hardware configuration but if it is existing controller, no, definitely the hardware configuration has been loaded in the controller. So we can upload it and we can able to check what address we were using, everything, each module. So for that, what you have to do now, for hardware configuration in station, we have open online. So when you given open online, it will ask you in here. So you can see, you can, however, use the save configuration for diagnosis. Second one is what? Upload the configuration from the PLC to the programming device. That means PC. So when I give an OK, You can see it is uploaded the hardware configuration as well as we can able to see for the digital IOS what address has been used in our logic programming. So in this way we can able to check it. And same goes for program also. OB1. So you can see it is empty. Right now we want to see the logic present in your controller. So simply go to file, open online. So the existing it's asking. You can able to see. So this the logic has been loaded in the controller. So in this way we can uh, upload a hardware configuration as well as program. Suppose if you are doing a new one. So right now I am not saving it. Suppose if you are doing a new one now what we have to do. So we have to do the hardware configuration. So right now in uh, Semantic Manager hardware. So since uh, when we creating the project, we have selected the CPU number, it will show you, but it won't show you the power supply module. So when you right click insert object, it will show you the power supply module. So by selecting, uh, so when you keep the cursor in that itself, you can able to see the order number so you can choose it otherwise another option is uh, since we're using semantic 300 station in the right hand side we have catalog in that if you expand now we have a ps 300 that is power supply module from here also you can select it so just uh, double click it will be placed so in here you can able to see the address for digital uh, IOS, we have 10 digital input, 6 digital output. For that, the uh, address uh, using is what? 124th channel, 125. When you double click, you can able to see in this address. So the system default has been given us 124th channel. If you remove the system default, we can give 0, 0. Okay. So that means in our program, we can use what? 0th channel onwards. So once you have done uh, the hardware configuration, uh, we have to load this one to the controller. So before loading, we have to save and compile. So this is save and compile. So once you have done that, you can give download to module. So give OK. 
So right now, suppose if you want to check, uh, maybe you have connected uh, more than one PLC like that. If you want to load it now, you can see in here accessible nodes. When you give view, it will show you the address. So you can see right now only one controller has been connected in our control. Sorry, only one uh, configuration we have in our controller. So select that one. Give OK. It will start downloading. Okay, so right now we have done the hardware configuration. We can uh, close this one since we have download to the control. Now you can go to OB1. We can develop the logic. So already we have uh, seen how to develop the programming. So right now, in here, directly we can give I0.0, 0 .0, 0.1 like that. But instead of that, we can use what? Variables also. So for that, what you have to do now, in uh, hardware configuration, we have digital IOS now. When you right click, you will have edit symbols. So in that, you can see the address has been given. So you can uh, give in here. So in here, I'm giving the start. This is stop. So once you have done, apply, close it. So in the program, when I give, yes, you can able to see it's showing what start. So once the program is done, what we can do is you can uh, save the logic. So OB1 will be saved in your project. Then you can give download monitor. So now in your controller, if you turn on the input means, it will get on. So in this way, we can able to do it. Suppose if the logic, uh, maybe your controller, it is in a uh, stop mode. Uh, it is not downloading now. Uh, what you can do is, in here we have a, operating mode in this you can able to see it will show you the current operating mode if it isn't stopped now what you can do is you can simply give warm restart so that your controller comes back to online then we can download we can change into a run mode so i hope you understood how to upload and download your logic Suppose right now, if I want to take a backup of this program, what do you have to do now? In file, you can see near archive. So when I given file archive, it's asking the file. So the file is what? Test underscore 1705. If I given OK, it's asking file name.
So before doing that, you have to close your program as well as hardware configuration. Then in here, it's asking the size. So you can choose the size. Okay. And then give OK. So right now, we have taken the zip file. So while it is present now, you can see in Siemens step seven, temp. So in Siemens step seven, S7 temp, in that we have the file. So the backup has been taken. So right now, suppose this backup, if you want to, right now we have in a pen drive, so you copy it in your laptop. Right now, we want to open this project if you say not then what we have to do is we have an option as retrieve so in that you can choose which uh, project we are going to open so it's asking where we want to place it so it is in S7 project only. So it's showing what already in the same name the project is existing. So I'm just giving the place. So you can see it will open now. So I hope you understood how to take a backup as well as the backup file how to open it. So today video, we have seen four topics, how to upload, download, how to take a backup and how to open the backup data. Thank you.